Hello everyone, this is Jamo. This is April 1st, and I'm going to be doing Postman Pat and the Greendale Rocket. Now you're probably asking, what the heck is this, Jamo? What the heck is Postman Pat? Well, it's a British children's show featuring a stop-motion uh, puppet postman as he goes around and delivers packages. That's about it. All I really remember... Um, from watching the show as a kid is vague memories of a guy with a very tube-shaped head, kind of like Beaker from the Muppets, and the theme song, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. That's all I remember. It's the only thing I remember about that show. It's pretty vague. So, uh, we got three languages here. This is a Europe-exclusive release. We got Select Language, that's, uh, English. Vig Sprach! which I believe is Klingon, and Velgsprog, which I don't know, sounds fraggle. Okay, so select language, I speak English. Off we go. Bum bum bum, bum bum bum, bum bum. Well, we get this message at this point. Okay, okay, I get it. You're warning us. I won't have a seizure. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat in his pubic mound fat. Bum bum. The Game Factory. It pumps these things out without even trying. Postman Pat. Postman Pat. Postman Pat. Postman Pat? Story, password options. <laughs> the last system to utilize passwords. Game Boy Advance. It's a theme song. Hasn't changed a bit. Well, it's a little more digitized since when I was little. The old Greendale train station in a bad state. Oh, it's a bunch of creepy puppets. And the Greendale rocket does not seem to be working. That's a train! And a bunch of rank and bass rejects, you know, make stupid gestures. I guess they're doing the Nazi salute or something. Look at them, idiots. <laughs> there he is himself. Ugh. Such a negative image for Britain. I'm sorry. Level 1A, Fine Mrs. Gogans. Is that the name of his cat? It's been a while. So here I am, I'm Postman Pat, Postman Pat, in his retarded hat. So I'm gathering up packages. I know this game is made for preschoolers, but still. That's probably the last time I watched it. I'm in Canada, we get a lot of these shows. We did at least, I don't know. I have been out of the TV loop in a while. I guess British shows are still pretty popular here. Just walk, grab stamps, stuff, packages, simple platforming, huh? Jumping, grabbing mail, grabbing packages. Wait, can I use the post box? I'm Postman Pat. I should be able to do something with the mailbox. Oh, wow. This is a really badly bad place to put a pool right in the middle of the sidewalk. Come on, Postman Pat! Bet none of you were expecting this, huh? That's what, that's what April's for, man. These kind of fun surprises. Grabbing stamps! Postman Pat! Postman Pat! Postman Pat! He ate his cat! Look at Postman Pat, he's just strutting. Boom, boom. What's that up there? Is there something? How do I get those stamps? Jump on the freaking mailbox, Pat. Oh, can I go in this house? <gasps> There's my black and white cat! Kick it! Aww. So it is, what's his name? Mrs. Boggins or Mrs. Biggins or Mr. Bigglesworth? Oh no, I can't. Uh, I'm a cat. I hate water. Wow, this is diversity in gameplay, boys and girls. They're mixing things up. This isn't repetitive and boring at all. I'm a freaking 22-year-old man playing Postman Pat on Game Boy Advance. They need to take my kidneys and grind them into pies. Just to let you know, I have nothing against the British. I'm just joking. Stereotypes, what, what? You can make fun of Canadians if you want. If it makes you feel better. Why is there a random drawbridge in the middle of the freaking sidewalk? Obstacles! Now 
Now, this probably isn't the best place to look for logic. Like, you hear people analyzing Star Trek and all that. But you know what I do? I, I play Postman Pat on my Game Boy Advance and criticize what doesn't make sense. Congratulations, you have succeeded at perfect score. I am the greatest man in existence. You owe me everything. Hey, it's Mrs. Claus. Wow, I get to open parcels? Or is this like a mini-game? Okay, the bananas go on the produce, bananas go on produce, trash goes on trash, apple goes in produce, box goes in parcel, it goes in the parcel, put it in the parcel. Where do you want me to put it? I can't put it in the... Oh, there. Crappy controls. Oh, I see down is the middle, right is right, and this is left. Why not just let me scroll through them? Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and a black and white cat. I'm playing a Game Boy Advance game based off of a British children's show. I'm learning. Wow, I won a stamp of myself, Postman Pat. He's a very vain man, has to have his face on everything. Including the... Seriously, how many stamps have the actual male person's face on them? Go drive your car, Postman Pat. Fasten your seatbelts, kitty. I'm gonna run over random pedestrians. I'm the postman, I can get away with it. Is, if this is England, like, what side of the road am I supposed to be driving on? Because we use the American, like, standard. Because with all these random traffic cones and no clear lines between the streets, I don't know where the heck the... how the street is divided. Beep beep, I'm a motorist! Oh no! The bomb on your car is gonna blow up, Pat! Postman Pat? Postman Pat? Yeah, whatever. Hello, thank you for the password. Find Charlie Pringle? Once you pop, the fun don't stop, baby. Ah. Grabbing stamps. Stamp collecting is fascinating. Aw, oh, Postman Pat can survive fall heights. I wanted to see him a Postman Pancake. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, fell in one splat. Aw, oh, I don't want to get this. I know there's stamps up there, but... This is stamp collecting, but somehow mad just to make stamp collecting more boring. Why not collect something cool like you know, cards you can show to your friends and they can, you know, call you a dork. So at least it gives you some sense of identity. A lot of, a lot of 20, 30 year olds playing Magic the Gathering. They're probably more respectable than an adult who plays Postman Pat games. Self-depreciating humor. An analysis of my miserable life as a YouTube semi-celebrity. What are you doing? Oh, I guess you're ballroom dancing with a freaking bale of hay. I'm probably the first person to, to LP this, so I could be wrong. I haven't checked. I just thought, hey, it might be fun. It might be uh, fun on a bun in the sun on an English muffin. Hello. Are you... Wait, your name is Mr. Pringles, or... No, you're the... What is this cat's name? I don't know. Climb to the top of that thing. Do you think this cat's been neutered? Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. That's a big button. Look at that strut, how he just kind of holds his arms to his side. 
Wait, can he fall in the water? Whoa! And the music stops there for a moment. Just to, ju just to scar kids a bit. Like, you know, in movies, whenever they have a dramatic moment where someone dies, they stop the music, just bring silence to make it as terrifying as possible. That's what this game is. Mr. Uh, Postman Pat falling into the pit of water and drowning, and the music stops, so the kids freak out. I, <laughs> I killed Postman Pat. Postman Pat walking around with his red ma man purse. Okay, I know it's a mailbag, but it means so bright red it looks like a man purse. Yeah, that should be my next uh, April 1st thingy. Um, <laughs> find a Mr. Bean video game. <laughs> ah, gotta find something different, obscure, because I want this to be a tradition. More stamps! Lots of glue on the back of a stamp. Makes it good for sticking to things. Sticking to things. Blimey. Whoa, can you bounce? I can bounce. I'm Postman Pat! Doing that cool kicking motion like he's in Street Fighter. Oh yeah, that would be sweet. For Super Street Fighter 4 Hyper Special Ultimate Reunion Edition, they gotta have Postman Pat as a fighter. I mean, is it any crazier than a Turkish oil wrestler who defeats opponents by squeezing them to death between his oily arms? Or how about uh, Dal Sim with his being a rubbery, elastic, Play-Doh Hindu shaman. I could totally see a British mailman being cool in a fighting game. I mean, they already have a black British boxer as a character. Whoa! Yeah, someone call the police. There's some crazy mailman on my girders. Wait, not girders. What's the word, uh... How could I not know what this is? Gutters, how is it? Gutters. Gutters are those big steel beams you use to build things and support construction sites and all that. Wow, Postman Pat. You're taking this awfully well. I mean, there's lots of crazy things happening. I mean, you see floating logs and stamps are floating in midair and... Yeah, the street just keeps going. I get it. it's a routine postman job for Postman Pat, but... I don't know, it's crazy enough, but... You know what I'd really like to see? Some crazy dog, uh... Some crazy dog come and attack Postman Pat, because you know... Oh, I see. Press A rapidly to make the kite fly. Oh, I see. You gotta lower it. Okay, I will give credit where... Oh, you lose. Okay, I won't give credit. I actually thought this game was sort of original for a moment. Postman Pat. Rather than doing his duty so people can get their mail, he takes a break to fly a kite. I guess he's picking up mail that's in the sky, but it's just not very professional, Pat. Do you wasting your time like this? No, I don't want to play again. What? It's over. 